Terry Brands. It is Terry Eve, as I like to call it. It's Flow Sports coming out with the first full length movie ever in the history of Flow Sports. Uh, first off, Terry, how was the process for you? Uh, you know, sharing your life and divulging some some things maybe you've never talked about for the movie Terry. I think it was good for me, and I think it's you know one of those things where they um, you know Bader came in and it was kind of a routine deal. And then he started getting really uh, into some things that maybe weren't any of his business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it was one of those things where, you know, he wasn't afraid to ask. And it was, you know, the right time and the right place. And, and I love Mark. I love what he does. And I love his passion. And when he started digging, you know, I was like, well, let's go with it then. And I think it caught him by surprise a little bit. And I think my honesty and, you know, my fourth right, right, righteousness, if you want to call it that, talk, uh, caught him by surprise. And, um, you know, when, once you get to know me, you know that I don't hold a lot of punches and I don't say things just to make them up. And I think he came to realize that. And I think it was a really fair uh, interview from his perspective toward me. And I, and I appreciated that. These are, you know, these are things you haven't talked about 15, 20, 25 years. Probably never even spoke of even with your brother. Nobody in your family. What's it like dredging those up? You know, dredging them up, but bringing yeah, those I, things up and talking about it. Yeah, them. it was, again, it was one of those things where I was like, hey, this guy, he's getting pretty personal. And, and, you know, and I told him, you know, I think we might have stopped the interview a little bit. And I said, I never, you know, I never, no, nobody knows what's in my head on this stuff. And like I said in the interview, I said it was, it was, you know, borderline therapeutic for me. You know, as long as I'm in the scripture, I'm good. And, you know, when I'm, when I'm away from it, then I'm, that's when I get myself into trouble and the clock starts to strike midnight and then, you know, weird things start happening to me. So, you know, I just got to stay grounded and know where I'm at and know who, who, uh, who's in control of my life. And, you know, Flo and Bader have helped, you know, maybe make a uh, kind of a perception of me that's true, that's real. It's not just me in the corner of a wrestling mat or me getting beat and then throwing a, you know, a hissy fit after I, a loss or me, you know, going like this after I won. It's more of who I am and, and what I'm about. And that's the thing that was really important to me was that, you know, they started digging into what, what makes, you know, you know, the Brands Brothers and myself in particular, what we're about. Not just who we are on the outside, you know, from the from a bird's eye view, but who we are. And that was huge. Looking at, you know, the whole process. First off, have you seen the movie? I have not. I've seen about 12 minutes of it. It is your life, so you obviously know how all this goes. But there are things that are going to be, they haven't even shown you a, a rough cut or anything like that. You said you've seen 12 minutes of it. Are there things that may surprise you, maybe how they edit them, or are you just like, are you going to watch it when it comes out tomorrow? Uh, here's the thing. You know, I, I started asking some questions. You know, I, I, this is important to me because, like I said, you know, uh, I, and, and I talked to Martin, and uh, he said, hey, you know what, you just got to trust me. And when I heard that, for whatever reason, I was like, okay. And I turned it over. And since then, I've been at complete peace with it. And whatever it is, however it comes out, is how it's going to come out. And, you know, I, I trust him. It's that simple. How long has the process been for you? And how long, you know, how did the, the whole process start, you know, as far as going behind it? When did Flow Sports approach you? Mark Bader, Joe Williamson, Martin it, Floriani? Well, it started as... You know, we don't, we're pretty private, you know that. And so what happened was, is we started looking around and they kept wanting to come in the room and then, um, and this is something we haven't shared with anybody yet either, but Tom and Morningstar were like, well, you know, have Terry do it. You know, the recruits like him, the young guys like him, have him do it and then they can get to know us a little better. So when Flo called and, and actually it was Joe who called and, and wanted to come out, we, yeah, come on out. And then, uh, you know, Bader and Chad showed up, and uh, Chad Leathers, the, the video guy, showed up. And um, it was just like I said earlier, it was a routine flow thing, you know, where they're coming in and they're doing what they do best. And like I said, I think it just kind of unraveled or raveled into a really healthy discussion about, you know, a wrestler and his journey and things that, you know, necessarily didn't go well for, for that particular wrestler or things that went really well for that wrestler, and that happened to be me. So it turned out that, you know, I, I think it's gonna be a good thing for people. How many years in the making has it been? Uh, Year and a half? Summer of 14, so 
Year and a half. A year, yeah. It's year and a half. We're one of the 16 in two days, Coach. Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, so I got shifting gears from Terry. You know, you're the film on you. I was at the Dvorak last week. I don't know if you got to watch it all, but I had a couple of Nelson Brands, your son's matches. Coach, it looked like I was watching, you know, the guy wrestles physically. He wrestles hard. He makes some mistakes, but he wrestles hard. Did you watch any of that wrestling? I did. I, I watched as much as I could. Um, my daughter had gymnastics, so my wife went there. We had practices and stuff, so I stayed back and, and uh, watched her and that, and then, you know, took care of the business in the room and stuff. And, you know, I watch what I can, and all I can tell you is that if he's having fun and he likes the sport, then I'm all in with him. Are you a little more hands off as a father? Very hands off, unless he comes to me. So what do you, you know, like he comes to you, hey, hey dad, why did I lose this match in the finals? No, like, it's, it's, it's not like that. It's, it's more of, you know, him grabbing me or, hey, let's watch this and sit down. He, I watched every match with him. He, he comes after every match and that's the first thing that he wants to do right away is watch the matches with me. And I go through it with him and I'm really, really uh, at, at arm's length with him. Um, just, it's worked well for me. It's better for me that way. Having Mark Ryland as a coach, does that, do you, are you pretty confident with that? I feel good. That's why we, you know, moved that to that district is because I'm comfortable with Mark and, and what he is. And I've known him for, you know, 20 plus years and, and uh, we have a good relationship and, you know, it's working great. And Mark Ryland, he communicates well with, with the kid and, and uh, he's, you know, the Pujo, the assistant coach there and awesome guy. And, and uh, you know, Nick Moore's coaching there now. And, you know, it's just, it's just a good situation for Nelson more than anything. It's not really about me, but about what is, helps him be comfortable in the sport of wrestling. All right, last thing, Hawks Midlands right now, 53rd annual. Uh, how important is it for you guys to win this tournament? Well, this is the most important thing to me right now is what we're doing. And we're here at Midlands right at the end of 2015, and we got a solid lineup. We got to continue. We got to, you know, wrestle hard, physical wrestling today and bring it to the mat at each and every weight class, each and every time. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No. Nope. Thanks for the time, Thanks. Yeah.